I want to mention while I'm live these few minutes is that when you go for these different certifications, remember something. If you work for a private company and they have standards for certifications or you're working for the federal government and you fall up under some reg, whether you be active duty, military, or you're um, in fact uh, civilian personnel. Uh, one thing I you know, want you to understand is that get the certifications that help you in your job. Don't just blindly run out there, I'm gonna get this certification, this certification. If you fall under, say, the new DOD standard 8140, if there's a certification on that list that helps you take your time, find out what that certification is, study for it appropriately, and don't don't try to don't buy into the I crammed or I did it and you know, no. When you go to take that certification exam, and that's what it is. You're going to be taking an exam that you've paid your $400 and it's not guaranteed you're going to pass. And if you fail, you have to pay to retake it. And that can be kind of costly. Also with your training, be careful of under training or over training for certain things. Example, like with security plus security plus is not something you just memorize. The security plus training is a situation where you're going to use what you pick up, the new tool set, the new um, skill set you pick up, you're going to use on your job in some form or fashion, whether you take the route of a pen tester, whether you take the route of a, a policy maker, a writer, whether you take the um, position of, say, you're a manager, the skill sets and the techniques and the different areas of security that you're going to pick up that that you don't already have you're going to use um, information security is one of those rare situations where when you learn something eventually you're going to use it and it's something that is going to stick with you and you're going to have to refresh those skills as operating systems change as technologies change as needs change as threats change you're going to be able to grow and you're going to grow your skill set, whether your skill set is your policy person, let's say you're a compliancy person, you're big on Sorbanes Oxley, you're big on uh, HIPAA, you're big on, say, um, COPA or SIPA or something like that. It's something that's going to help you long term and it's a great field to be in, but understand it's not easy and they're not giving away Security Plus certifications. 